what and uh, yeah that was a good take from me and Chrissy there we've just been chatting away for about the last five minutes with uh, absolutely new volume coming out of the mic whatsoever so apologies for that guys uh, we're, we're back to the next match which is FVPA in blue kicking from left to right against scouting for goals in red so uh, yes Chrissy just gave a really nice explanation of how he found the game and I looked at the screen and went oh look that mic's still disabled so deepest apologies Chrissy about that and then feel free to either repeat or say nothing <laughs> as a follow-up but I was just asking Chris how he was finding the tournament so far not new to clubs for Chrissy or played a bit in the past but they just come off the back of a 2-0 defeat to always late who actually look a really really good team they've obviously played together quite a lot so Chrissy thoughts so far take two yeah like I'm, I'm quite enjoying playing clubs um, mainly because 1v1 can be fairly sort of I don't know it's, it's quite a mental game and can tire you out quite a lot especially with the competition yesterday so um, it's just a nice chance to just sit back and chill out really um, as I'm only controlling one person Sure, he's um, the any guy, so I can just sit back and try and be the hero, which is nice. And um, <laughs> well, what's the delay like in the stream? Because uh, <laughs> yeah, it's about six feet per minute. Oh, okay. But, um, so yeah, um, I haven't seen the FVPA lads play yet, so um, I'm interested to see how they sort of play as a team. Because um, yeah, I think even with our last game. We just didn't really play as a team as well, well as the other guys, but um, I think that might have a little something to do with the fact that our positions are all sort of free at the back. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, oh, wow. Um, crazy goal there, really. Just a shot and a, a rebound header. But um, I guess always follow up, play by the rule, and um, that's... FVPA going on one nil up. Um, I know they drew against the team we lost to, so um, if it all stays the same, they'll both be on um, joint top. So, um, actually, what what would happen if um, two teams? What would happen if um, two teams came joint top? Now you're asking me complicated questions, Chris. So the way we've re-geared the pilot is just basically we're playing a league so uh, that would be points look at goal difference and then uh, do the normal stuff in the league it may have to be a playoff game we'll we'll see it's going to what we caught the five now i think we're into round two of the games so we've got another couple of hours to go yet so uh, i know some people are here and someone's got to be out in birmingham at seven o'clock tonight so They'll be shooting off in not too long because it took them three hours to get here from Tamworth, which is 40 minutes. So, oh. <laughs> but back to the game. Oh, that looked like a certain goal for scouting for goals then, but uh, I can understand their name now. <laughs> but so we're 20 minutes into the game. It's one nil to the FVPA guys. Get this victory. They'll have a draw and a win. Scouting for goals on the back of a defeat already, so need to get some points out of this game. But good as goal, two brothers. They've got down, they've played every game with a smile on their face, and they're making the tournament possible, which is great. Yeah, oh, only slightly offside by about a quarter of the pitch. So, free kick here to the FEPA, clear the lines. Neither team have got a real domination in the game yet, but uh, FEPA with a, the goal advantage. Here we go, nice, uh, nice counter-attack here. They've got two players going for the same ball, but they're sorted out now. Will the man pull off to the back post? No. Nope passed it inside rather than I thought it was going to be a cross to the back stick there there's plenty of space down the side here I think the defender had gone out of touch there oh 
Oh, thought he was going to flick it past the defender and then take a shot, but hit it first time. Trying for finesse, but difficult from standing still like that. Cleared up nicely. So we're half an hour in. Early thoughts on the game so far, Chris? Um, yeah, obviously FVPA taking the lead. They actually have a very nice setup. Like all the three sort of individual players are um, all kind of in the attacking, you know, lineup. Well, I'm not actually sure what formation they're playing, but they seem to have a sort of nice understanding going forward together, at least. Um, and then whoever's controlling the green is doing a nice job so far and clearing up. Um, it's actually the same way we're lining up, lining up so can take. Um, hopefully we're doing the right thing, we're not really sure. Um, but yeah, dodgy through ball there. Um, I'm sure FVPA won't mind through balls like that all game. Again, optimistic through ball. Um, could get a chance, nearly sort of lucked their way through, but not on that occasion. The runners are off. <laughs> but but um, no, maybe, maybe trying to be more patient on that attack would have worked out better. But And again, FVPA making defence look easy and trying another little counter attack. And, oh! Nearly finding that killer ball there, and um, they have here. Oh, good defending by um, scouting for girls in the end. A scout for girls. There's a through ball on here, and it's through. One on one, nearly. Goal. I thought um, the defence, the defender might actually pressure him a little bit more um, and try and put him off, but. It's a good finish there from scouting for, um, scouting for goals and we are one all. That's now half time. Just to, just to explain what's happening here, one of the scouting for goals players is disconnected, unfortunately, as it happens in clubs. So as it was half time, what the guys have agreed to do is play the one half for the second half. So add the score together. So that's nice sporting behaviour from both sides and get that sorted out. So just wait while they get themselves sorted out. So 1-1 one, one at half time. Scouting for goals, got themselves back in it right at the end with a nice breakaway and finish. Uh, just see them collect it, connecting the sides, getting themselves all sorted out. It's nice to actually see clubs. I've never seen clubs before. Hate to say it, but never been anything I've been able to commit the time to but it's great seeing the whole it's a different part of the game I've never even <laughs> when you spend most of your life playing 1v1 and things it's a completely different set of menus different everything but anyway we're back in the game so this is a uh, yeah just getting themselves sorted out so they're going to play one half for the second half and score stands at 1-1 one, one, so add to get add on whatever's the score is at the end of this half. Yeah, I got to say, Chris, after, as you were saying, after the intensity of yesterday with a 1v1 tournament and everything, it's really nice on a Sunday to have something a little bit more relaxing. A lot of commentating to be done, but that's not not a problem at all. But just the whole thing is a, a, a lot more relaxing than the intensity of 1v1. One one yeah, I guess because you have so many games, um, so many people to look after, this we can just sit, sit back. We've got eight consoles running here, 4v4. Um, well, to be fair, that's all we can do. But, um, but yeah, it's just nice, especially on a sort of bank holiday weekend. Um, who won yesterday? Uh, oh, Wes is in the chat. Um, uh, Dave, by the way, won uh, 1v1. In the end, um, he beat Aman in um, in the final. What's the scores? Quite convincingly in the end, wasn't it? Two two nil in games. Um, yeah. It's all on the website. How how come you're not here, Weza? But, 
Um, again, right now we'll start with this second half. We'll um, maybe concentrate on the game. <laughs> As um, scouting for goals. Now start there or try and start their attack, but FVP aren't even letting them out there. F FVP? FVPA. Um, wouldn't let them out of their half on that occasion, but the offside flag there. Another attack by FVPA, and we have a nice chance here at the penalty, I think. Last man, I'm not sure what happened in um, the car situation. What, actually, what does? I'm not sure what happens if you get your pro sent off, but I don't think it has happened. Pony for FVPA, and a save! <laughs> the keeper pulls off, and we're still draw. You know, it's, it's one all still. Um, oh, this is going to be complicated now, but as we've... Um, we had a disconnection. We're just playing the f first 45 minutes of this game, so it's like the second half. And um, scouting for goals have drawn a corner. Um, easy defending, and now we have an interesting counter attack. Three on three. Oh, wow, three on four now. Hurrying the through pass. Um, not coming off that time. And uh, oh, another great counter, but. Striker was lacking a bit of pace there. I thought he, I thought he actually had a yard on him. He did, um, he had a yard. um, what um, Wesley, what um, clan are you in? A button bash is still active, or I'm not really sure what's going on. But no, it's a shame you couldn't get funding for it. Um, I know you're London based, so it's not the easiest thing to get up to Telford. Um, um, we're on Xbox. Scout for girls awkwardly dealing with that um, camera attack there. But FVP kind of in control of this game, but hey, well, anything can happen, I guess. Absolutely, I think it's 1-1, one, one. a strike, oh, just ran a post from that VPA, thought that had gone in then, even Chrissy leapt off his seat there, <laughs> it's a good good effort from, from far out. So, just a, a little question to everybody, is the, the, str the quality of the stream okay, the audio, the, the video, is everything coming, over, coming through okay? Just appreciate any little feedback in there, be I appreciate there's probably a lot of background noise. You can hear the main stage behind us where they're making announcements which uh, tends to dominate everything over the, the weekend. But I presume, Ord, for Mikey that you're talking about, can uh, anybody sitting in the stream play against the guys here? And No, this is a, a pilot we're running at an actual live event at Telford International Centre where every all the feet, all the clubs players are actually here sat around eight Xboxes we got playing 4v4 so uh, no we're just we're just trying out making sure everything works learning from the event see what works well see what doesn't because we're really looking to you know, blow apart the club scene and get people playing offline make it a real sort of social event so much like you play for if you play for a football team on a Saturday you go out on a Saturday night and have a few beers with your mates so I can create the same thing with the FIFA scene it should be uh, pretty immense so uh, this is actually the second half of the game we played the first half and then one of the players uh, unfortunately disconnected so we just started the game play one half so they've got all their strength back so we're 15 minutes from the end of the game and it's currently sitting at one all from the first half so I think in assessment, FEPA probably dominated the game, but scouting for goals got a nice breakaway goal right at the end of the, the first half and have got themselves in the game. So pushing now, last 10 minutes. FEPA like the win they drew in the first game, whereas scouting for goals lost in their first game. So they'll be glad of the point, whereas I think FEPA will be hoping for a little bit more. But 
We will see. Okay, so last couple of minutes. Here's a chance. Struck. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Two chances. FE big guys were uh, quite happy that flew over then on the hit the crossbar and then hit it over. So that was quite an unusual attack there from scouting for goals. They haven't had that many attacking chances, but nearly made FEPA pay there. Yeah. Um well, I, I thought I was convinced the second chance was going to go in. I thought just just a light touch, but I know uh, anyone who's played FIFA um, probably has had that situation quite a few times where the ball just comes out for you. You, you kind of panically tap circle and it just goes flying over. Um, there's not really much we can you know you can do about that. It's, um, it's up to the sort of composure stats with your player, I guess. But here we go, FVPA trying this last attack now, maybe. But, um, kind of a wasteful cross there. They, they had a guy on the edge of the box. Three. Um, now, scouting for goals. They've got time for a last attack, but again, kind of being wasteful. Um, I think that will probably be full time. No, no, maybe not. <laughs> A little bit of extra time. One last cross and a corner. One last chance for scouting for goals. So I'm cleared out by FVPA and I'm, I'm sure they'll be able to clear this and probably it will draw full time. Yep. There we go. So one all is the final result and. Um, that puts um, always late top of the league, I think, but I cleared two points, maybe. Oh, no, one point. Um. Thanks for that, Chris. Yeah, we'll be back in a minute. We're just going to get the next game set up, get everything going, get the scores up on the bracket, and uh, we'll be back in a second. We'll leave the, the video running, just blank the uh, microphone for you so you're not deafened by the background noise. We'll be back in a second. Uh, Wes, just to ask you... Question: It was five seven six for the winner yesterday, which was quite nice for a day's FIFA. We'll be back in a minute. 